All right, so today we're going to be doing this JavaScript coding challenge. It is called Disemval Trolls. Uh, so the instructions are uh, trolls are attacking your comment section. A common way to deal with the situation is to remove all the vowels from the trolls' comments, neutralizing the threat. Your task is to write a function that takes a string and return a new string with all the vowels removed. For example, the string this website is for losers, lol, would become this, well, that, but with all the vowels removed. Um, note, for this kata, y isn't considered a vowel. Okay. So I feel like we can get this done fairly quickly, so let's aim for 10 minutes. All right, so let's see here. Let's make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. All right, so it takes a string, and we're going to return that string with all the vowels removed. A couple of ways to do this. I think we're going to try to use um, regular expression, so just because I need the practice. So we're going to take the string, and we are going to, well, let's first build the regular expression. So um, this I'm not so sure about. Uh, we need to add the G flag, which means global, so it's going to look through the entire uh, statement for for matches. And I believe if we put what we're looking for in brackets, it'll look for each of these things individually. So for instance, if we do A, E, I, O, U, uh, without the brackets, we would have to find this string in that order uh, to match. But with the brackets, if it matches an A or an E or an I or an O or U, it'll basically match for that, okay? So that's gonna be a regular expression. Um, let's do, I don't think we can, so strings in JavaScript can't be modified. So we're gonna to need to store this uh, modify, or this return string in another variable. So let's call it um, uh, vowless string. And, so we're going to use the replace method that is available on all strings. So we're going to do string dot replace. And as replaces first argument, it takes a regular expression. So we're going to pass in the regular expression that we just constructed. And then as a second argument, it takes what we're replacing it with. But since we just want to remove them, we're just going to put in an empty string. And um, we're not going to return the string, we're going to be returning the vowless string. Okay, so I think that's all we need to do. So let's, uh, whoa, all right, that's better. Let's run the sample test here and see if we are getting what we would expect. Okay, so failed one, expected this website. Did it not return anything? Huh. Let's try to console log valid string. I suspect that the regular expression that I wrote is not what it needs to be. But let's see. This website, okay. So it's not catching the O here. And that's because the O is uppercase, and I uh, only passed in lowercase a, e, i, o, u. So I could pass in uppercase a, e, i, o, u as well. But there's another flag, uh, i, which I think makes it case insensitive. Um, let's see if this gives us what we expect. OK, so uh, that looks correct. So now instead of console logging it, we're going to return it. So sample test should give us what we're looking for. It did. Let's see if it passes all the other tests. It did. OK. So um, see how long that took us? Four minutes. So not too bad. 
All right, guys, so if you enjoyed that video, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, check back in for more videos, and happy coding.